Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling you how I read Harry Potter and started reading in the first place. And how you can read a book that is interesting to you. Because books are the main factor for you loving reading. Because if it's really a boring book, you won't love reading that much. So you need to actually pick a really interesting book in the beginning. So it, the book is going to help you to get off whatever you're doing and go read. That Maybe now you won't do your homework just to read, just like you do for video games. <laughs> uh you may like of course the reading is not gonna be like video games you will see so first i'm gonna be telling you how i started reading harry potter and what really made me want to read harry potter and also help you to find your own book so first thing you need to look at the fans and how people love that book uh so in harry potter's case most people loved harry potter uh not not everyone and there was not that much haters even the haters most of them didn't even watch the book and just they hated the book and the movie just because of the fans obsession that was what really made me you know want to read that book because obviously a book with those millions of fans who never get bored from the book and keep reading it again and watching it again of course that book is obviously amazing <laughs> that's first factor second factor is that it was made into a movie so it would be interesting so that if i'm i in a long time i didn't read and i had some hard time you know understanding some words and stuff then i then um I can watch the movie later and visualize everything I read. But a tip in that, you have to read the book and then watch the movie. Because for me, if I watch the movie, I would get bored to watch the book. So I won't actually read the book. And reading is, of course, more important. So I would read the book, then watch the movie. And third factor is that it's interactive. So a book that is interactive makes you feel you are there. So, for example, in case of Harry Potter, uh, I can take some house tests to know which house I am. I can, um, you know, know my wand if I am a witch and know my Patronus. It just, like, makes me feel you are there. And, of course, that's gonna example. If your teacher keeps on explaining for an hour without makes you, making you ask questions, take tests, or uh, have homework, it would get boring you didn't try it but it's boring um so that's the case also for books now with fourth thing for fiction readers or for everyone fiction books have something that when you're bored or you want to go to somewhere else and you can't or you want just you know to get off what's happening in real life and go somewhere else then you can use some fiction books to even if you love information you'll have just fit one fiction book at your house like that so that when you ever get bored you just open that fiction book and then go to it and you escape to another world and sometimes you will just find yourself going to that book because you are you want to go somewhere else you know what i mean well this was it it was only four things that are really simple to find your book just try finding a book that has those four things the third thing is only if you want to find a fiction book try finding it that you go to another world now the third important the three important things are fans interaction and if you're an early reader or still or not sure you're gonna understand the book then it's made into a movie plus books that are made into movies are obviously so interesting because if it wasn't that interesting movie producers wouldn't have even heard of it now i'm gonna be saying some things just to express myself about harry potter so of course fans were i was like they are overreacting like what the heck are you guys saying why are, is it that much of a good thing for you but what i saw is after starting reading i only read three books so far you're like you're talking all of them and you only read three books yes because three books in one series if if I read the first one, I didn't like it. I would have read the other two, right? And now people read like seven of them. So hopefully I do that too. Um, is that what you actually you go to another world, which is Hogwarts. And of course, this won't happen in real life. And that's what I loved about it. <laughs> um, also, uh, the interaction. So I made a quiz and now I'm in Ravenclaw. So... Now I would watch the movie and know that I am in 
Ravenclaw. Now that was it. That was it. That's what. what, what uh, that's just what I wanted to say about Harry Potter is that it had all those factors. Fans loved it. It was made into a movie, and it makes you escape to another world, and it's interactive. That we're all in Harry Potter, and that's why I picked it. And hopefully, I'm gonna find another book that has some fans, uh, because of course it's hard to find that books that actually that successful. So you, I need to like try also some books that I can make films by myself and collect funds for them. Maybe. <laughs> so if you guys have read Harry Potter, what do you think of it? And do you think people are overreacting? And um, which Hogwarts house are you, if you're that upset? And um, how many books did you read? I read three by recording this video. And comment down below which house you are, because I'm a Ravenclaw. And for non-Harry Potter fans, please try finding a book that interests you, because not everyone is going to be interested in the same book, obviously. We all have different personalities. So please don't forget to use those tips to finding your dream book. No, I mean like a book that you're interested in. It doesn't have to be a series, it doesn't have to be fiction, it can be informational. But just look at how, um, maybe some people won't like it to be interactive, some people don't like interactive stuff. But there are two main factors. The fans, the fans, the fans are the two factors actually. Because the fans and the people are interested in this book because if it's like an old book such as Harry, Harry Potter 20 years ago and you have never heard of Harry Potter, for example, then for sure it's not interesting because 20 years and you didn't heard of it till now on social media or anywhere, no, it's bad. But if it's like 20 years and till now people are interested in it, not only at the time it was published, then for sure, this book is amazing. Uh, I hope you guys love this busy. I hope I hope I wasn't the, so, you know, excited or hyper or uh, I hope this video wasn't so long for you. I know it's um, a little bit, you know, simple and not really complicated and not really has that much information. But I um, hope you guys liked it. It was all about Harry Potter. And ha um, and it was all about books. And that's something I like. And hopefully you guys also like. Because that's good. I hope everyone likes it. Uh, so um, comment down below. If you have any thoughts or any ideas. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And see you next week. Bye.